and welcome back to another video here on our channel. If Max has broken the set this time, I and there's gonna be a dead body on my hands, and I'm gonna have to do something about that. Oh, we're on record. <laughs> <laughs> so today, I would firstly like to apologize for not having a story time out for you guys last time. A story time was supposed to be out two weeks ago on Tuesday. Or two weeks ago today, sorry. it's We're filming this on a Sunday, okay? Don't blame us. Yeah. <laughs> Don't blame me for not knowing the day. Yeah. <laughs> That's all right. Change that, it was me. <laughs> so, yeah. We're back with another story time, though. We, we've just been really stressed out with exams lately. We're halfway through our exams right now. And, yeah. What? You know it's serious when I take a nap, so. God, yeah. <laughs> Zoe doesn't like napping. You know her duvet is nap queen. That should be my duvet set. Yeah, well, it's got white marble on it and mine. <laughs> Today, we're going to be telling you guys some story times about two different people. Um, the first ones are going to be about this girl called Rose that we know and we still know, and she's really nice, and I, I feel bad. <laughs> the second story times, story times, is going to be about um, this girl called Maggie who has appeared. It, who appeared in the last story time? And a, was my best mate. Yeah, and God, we a lot of know. a lot of the names in story times as we go through are gonna appear a lot more often. So you know, just, they're yeah. just like the drama people in our yeah. lives. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so we're gonna start off with the rose story time. I'm gonna try and go through this very quickly because I'm gonna sneeze. The first, first one we're going to start off with is the Rose story. Yeah. Uh, also, all the names that we're using, like we say all the time, are fake names. We are not using people's real names, just so you know. Oh. Yeah. Anyway, so we're going to start off with the Rose story, which is basically goes something like this. Roll the clip. Oh my God, I'm so late. Sorry, sir. Oh my God, guys, how was your holiday? I can't wait to hear about it. OMG, you won't believe what happened on the camping trip we went on. Oh, drama, yas. Basically, you know Rose? Yeah. Okay, well, she's such a brat. Uh, what? Why? Well, she wet the bed, and while we were all having mini milks, she had that and a magnum. Wait, that really happened? Ask Gina, it happened. Okay. Gina, did that happen? Yeah. Oh my god, I can't believe that happened. I believe you guys, though. That's ridiculous. So, yeah. Basically, my friends told me about something that happened with Rose and them on a trip. And I, for some reason, decided to believe them over Max. Because back then, me and Max, we were siblings, obviously. But we weren't, like, best friends how we are now. Like, best friend siblings, you know. We weren't like that. Because we didn't walk to school together every day. We did we different friend sets, so I didn't had, really like Zoe's friends. Yeah, we had different friend sets. We had, we didn't like play with each other, like we didn't hang out with each other at break and stuff. Like we, we did do like now. now and then. Yeah, now and then we did, but we didn't very often. I had often. my friends in primary school because no one liked me really. <laughs> All around me are familiar faces, worn out places, worn out faces. But yeah, we didn't really do that, uh, whereas we do now. So that's why we're like best friends, sisters. We're like the best siblings in the world. Why we have a YouTube channel together. I believe them and what they said over what Max said about Rose. I just believe them because I hung out with them all the time. I was like best friends with them, you know. Didn't believe my sibling. Sibling rivalries, guys. <laughs> Don't hate me. Always love your siblings, even if you know they could be wrong at some times in their life. Max is always wrong. <laughs> I know. <laughs> um, especially, I am 99.9% .9 of the time right about who is your friend and who is, like, just using you and who is, like, a bad influence and good influence. What do you think about, um... Wait, 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 but the zero point... This is the 0 0.1 percent of the time that i was wrong and that was rose <laughs> that was rose what so yes that is what happened with rose i basically just hated her for ages now we're friends it's all good we act drunk together all the time it's fine or whatever we, we don't hang out separately. I, I have a recording on my phone i don't know if i still have it but i'm pretty sure i do and it's sort of when it was my like was it my 14th when i went when we took 
yeah. went to yeah. Oxford. Yeah. Yeah. Where um, Zoe and Rose were just hanging out and they sounded drunk as. Anyway, let's move on to the next set of stories, which is going to be the Maggie stories. Maggie, you guys have heard it. We've told you in the last story time there is going to be some stories about Maggie. This she... is that time. Yeah. See, Maggie is what... Max? Yeah, I am here. <laughs> okay. Maggie was one of those friends that I looked at her and I thought, you are bad for Max. <laughs> you yeah, are like, bad in influence. primary school, um, which is like elementary school for in America, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Um... We have, me and Maggie were inseparable. Yeah. We were best mates, always on the phone. But Maggie would always backstab me. And Max is really bad at um, not at giving people, uh, at giving people more than, she's really good at giving people so many chances that they just end up taking advantage of her. <coughs> and the guy from the last episode, <coughs> I can't remember his name anymore. Because <coughs> I forgot what we call Sawyer. him. Sawyer. Sawyer. Like <laughs> yeah, she gave him a lot. 284, was it? 85. Eight. You dated a lot. Dang it. But in, you were very 85 close. chances she gave him. And she did a very similar thing with Maggie. And Maggie I was thought, like twice as many. She was a bad influence. I kept on saying, like, you should drop Maggie. She's really bad for you. Like, she's, she's getting but, you to so much trouble. Bear like, in mind, every time Zoe said that, I was dating her brother. So it was, like, really hard for me to, like, say, like, oh, yeah, we can't hang out anymore. I was dating her brother. Oh, yeah, I didn't tell you that, sorry. <laughs> I thought you were saying that you were dating my brother, which is your brother, and I was like, what the flip are you on about? <laughs> I was dating Maggie's brother. Maggie's brother. You didn't say that. You said, I was dating your brother. <laughs> That's your my brother, brother mate. <laughs> That's weird. So, yeah. Bad influence. He's awful as well. You shouldn't have dated well, him. I either. don't know why he's still in our school. Yeah, she's not in our school anymore. She got kicked out. So the first sign that Maggie—it wasn't the first sign. She just always got Max into trouble in class. She was always getting into trouble, and Max yeah. isn't like that. Well, she is, but I think now you kind of were slightly influenced by her, and so you still have that slight influence from her. Anything that she would get her to do really, really stupid stuff with Max because she knew Max would do it with her because she was really, really like she was influenced by like if someone told her to do something, she would do it. Yeah, How she was when she was little. Her, She's different now, but back then she was really, really easily manipulated. So basically, yeah. uh, the one the time when I was like, Max, you need to drop this girl. You need to stop right now um like this is getting stupid now was when maggie set the school on fire yes she's i can tell you the whole story as well were you involved like... in that no mm. Roll okay. the clip of it. like it's just a little little clip Okay, right, now Max, you can explain. Right, so I sort of knew it was going to happen at some point just because she always said, like, um, I wish I could just set the score on fire and everything. And then one day, like, a few weeks before it actually happened, she brought matches in and everything. Like, the teachers don't know about this, so, but you guys can know because it, it was, like, four You're years special. ago. You're special. It was, like, four years ago, so it's not going to kill anyone. <laughs> um, She brought matches and everything. And I was like... Um, Maggie, you, what are you gonna do? You can't like set the school on fire or anything, or anything. And then, yeah, I gave her the idea. <laughs> oh, yeah. great idea, Max. I know. So she was yeah. Like, oh, I was just going to like after school burn sticks and that like, stuff. I was like, oh okay then. And then like a week later, she set fire to the girls' toilets. Yeah. And then when she got kicked out of school, she got kicked out for a week, I think, or like two. Yeah, she got kicked out, but. Yeah, she came back. Kept on but... coming back, that woman. I know. That was the that was the first fire story. Yeah, the first fire story. Oh. There were two more times that What's weren't that? exactly to do with fire, but kind of. Basically, there were two times when she set fire alarm off. Oh yeah. I can't remember. I remember she did it once when we were at school. So if you want to explain that one, because I can't actually remember it. 
primary one. Yeah. Okay, so every year when you're in your six, you leave for a like a big trip. Like you no, no, to... no, 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 I'm not talking about that one. No? Primary school at school. I think she just said that. Okay, at school. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Was that the snow one? No, that was some sort of something different. Oh, what was this one? Okay, basically, she set the fire alarm off on the time at school. Oh, I remember. I remember. We were, like, in year three. No, it wasn't. Oh, she set the fire alarm off in year three. It was only in year six. Oh, she also did it in year three. Anyway, we're just going to move on from that story. She set the fire alarm off during school in year six at some time. The one that we always remember, because it's always... Ugh, I'm going to explain it. Like the most recent one, wasn't it? I'm going to explain it because this is my this is the view that i got and i knew from the second that it happened that this was going to happen so we were we go on this big trip every year and we went to france this year. it was like the biggest trip going on it was the only one that you go on like a foreign trip on because then like year three year four and year five you stay in the country and you French, france else. is a foreign country <laughs> yeah max <laughs> said that france isn't a foreign country it's we're like, like connected it's, to it <laughs> We're not connected to France! The European Tunnel thing! I don't know what's called. I we're both in Europe, but, but we're not part of the EU anymore. Well, we're not. We literally. Can you stop doing that? And we well, literally like voted. We, were, we voted to stay in the EU or exit the EU, and we voted to leave. I don't know why. But anyway, we're going to move on. So we were in France, which is a foreign country. <laughs> and this was also featured in the last um, story time. Sister stole my boyfriend's story time, uh, which involved Maggie as well. And that was also in France. But before I had my that whole thing with Max... It was like the first day of France. It was the it. first day we were there. We just arrived and they were touring us around the uh, the house we were staying in, in like, and stuff like that. And saying like the rules and saying what we can do, where we can't go, like what we shouldn't do, what we really shouldn't do. And we were walking around, I was walking around with my friends and Max was walking around with Maggie. And I looked back at her and I could say they were listening to literally nothing that... I they- was... Because you were. Maggie was definitely not listening to anything they were saying. They were giggling together. They were messing around. They weren't listening at all. But- and the person says, do not spray anything at or near the fire alarm. Otherwise, it will go off. Don't and- do it. Yeah. And so we carried on the tour. And he told us all the other rules. We went up to our rooms. I had Maggie and max both in my room with a few other people who also kind of pissed me off at some point or another <laughs> okay so basically in the room that we were in there was there was six of us there was me max and maggie and then three other people who aren't really involved in the story there was two bunk beds and two low beds i picked the low bed because i had a like a bunk kind of bed at the time it was like a high bed type Amazing. situation so i really wanted to sleep on the low bed because i just wanted to sleep there then uh, one of the other girls slept on the low bed and then the two other girls slept on the bottom bunk and max and maggie slept on the top bunks the fire alarm was, was like above my bed yeah it was like the co- it was like right on it the corner like, of Max's at my bed. foot of my bed yeah god there are some funny pictures of you and maggie <laughs> <laughs> like when we show our faces we we might show that picture if and we blur, remember. and blur out maggie's face if we remember yeah, because your face is the one that matters. <laughs> Priceless. Bear in mind, so, she's sick, so... Yeah, she's Satan. Anyway, let's carry on. So, we were getting I, ready in the morning. It was, I like, the next... head on the fire alarm. It was the next morning. We were, like, getting ready, you know, getting changed, putting deodorant on, hairspray in our hit... hair if we wanted to, yeah. perfume. So, at this time... I hit my head on the fire and I was like, oh, right, so that's fire. Maggie, I know what you're like. Uh, stand over there when you're spraying. And so, yeah, carry on. No, 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 no. She, you didn't say that. Didn't I? No, no. I told, her, got... I told her that, that that was the fire alarm. Yeah, you I told her that it was the fire alarm, but you didn't say anything else. 
so we were like hot we weren't actually ready yet i was <laughs> i was sleeping right because I, I i like sleeping with barely anything on because i don't like feeling trapped in like i feel trapped in like yeah long I pajama like bottoms and long sleeves and i, I get really just, hot uh, when i was younger if i got really hot at night i have nightmares and so i did not sleep in basically anything is that so why had, you sleep in like high high shorts now yeah i sleep in like the tiniest little shorts and like this a uh, tiny little shirt i have vests and then like yeah it was uh, basically like a vest i used to sleep with when i was younger i used to sleep like a guy so i'd have like trousers on but no shirt so now i have to like wear shirts so <laughs> i had a shirt on but i i was nowhere near ready and maggie decides that this is the perfect time to spray her deodorant at the fire alarm did you guys see that coming because we didn't at the time we didn't see that coming she just sprayed it at the fire alarm and the whole room erupted at her like what the hell are you doing you can't do that what the and we just stared at it for a few seconds after we like shouted her and like it's blinking the red light is blinking i think we're okay it's just blinking and then like beep 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 and it was fine it was like really early in the morning so like everyone was getting ready it was like eight, even up yeah it was like eight o'clock basically we just woke it up we're like Maggie, what the flip did you just do? And we all had to start like running down the fire escape in short, tiny shorts. As the <laughs> hey, explain what the boys look like. So we ran down the stairs. One of my other friends that were from my other story, um, Eve, she gave me her jacket because I looked like I was freezing. I was standing there in my little shorts and my little vest, like, oh, I'm so cold. <laughs> so she gave me her jacket, bless her little soul. <laughs> or her, her really tall soul, sorry. And some of the boys had come down and one of them was literally wearing his boxes down there because like, he had to get out. Yeah, because everyone was asleep still. They weren't asleep, no, they were like hot. We were all halfway through getting ready. Oh no. He got a bit further than us. <laughs> everyone some was, people were still asleep. Some people were asleep, but some people were waking up. Yeah. I think that room was still was like, because half of them were actually like changed. Some people were changed, some people weren't. Yeah. And we were so angry. And the whole place was like, what the heck just happened? Like, what? And yeah, it was a thing. It was really great. We're really happy with everything that's happened. The last story that we're going to really quickly say, because we've been filming for so long, so I'm going to really quickly tell it, because Max, I mean, we both like to ramble. I don't <laughs> know what one this is. So we decided in oh. I can't remember when it was. I think it was year year four or five. We year were three. A great year three. Years that was when I just learned how to memorize numbers. So Max often called Maggie on the phone, and she often like called. It was on her a house she'd phone. So... She'd memorized her number because she had to call it so often because she hadn't put it on speed dial. And so we decided that it was a perfect day. You know, like when you're kids, you like put on your, your like mum's makeup or all like, you know, lip gloss and like Zoe, blue eyeshadow. This isn't our mum's makeup though, it's also Zoe's makeup. Yeah, it was Zoe's makeup. It was, so, it was Zoe's makeup. It was your makeup. It was my makeup and it was like our mum's makeup. And we were just like messing around. We were dressed up in like fancy dress clothes, put some cute little shoes on. We looked hideous. You will see from the skins that we were wearing, we look hideous. And we created these flyers in the bathroom because it's the only door that has a lock on it. <laughs> and we had created, I can't remember what the company was. I think it was like clothing or something like that. And we created a flyer and we'd written like, this is like Max and Zoe's clothing business. We'd written a name, we'd, written, we'd drawn pictures. Contact us at this number. The number was Maggie's number because we're really good people. <laughs> At and this we time, walked, I wasn't friends of her. We, walked, we had a massive argument. We walked around, and this is what happened. Roll the clip. Oh my God, we should do it for this house. Come on, let's go. Let's drop it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's drop it at everybody's houses. <laughs> oh my God, we look so cool. <laughs> okay, we should do it to the side now. Come on, let's go. Let's go to the side. Letters for all. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god how, how many people do you think are gonna call her <laughs> so, no. so yeah basically we walked around um 
and uh, posted leaflets through doors and one of the doors we definitely knocked on the door and said hey this is our clothing business here's our card you know call us if you need us there's the contact number and then we <laughs> then we left looking like crazy children <laughs> and Max told me later on that Maggie had asked her did you give my number to anyone because I have loads of people calling me asking me about this because I'm presuming they thought we'd used our number and not somebody else's and that they were going to get in contact with our parents but um no we used someone else's number because we're smart or also dumb we're horrible people it was revenge okay we're gonna move on i hope you guys enjoyed that story time video make sure to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed hearing us being awful people and us judging people and other people being dangerous yes max yes so yeah make sure to subscribe if you want to see more story times there is a list of story times that i still have going like written down we have so much more to uh, read out and so much more. Hopefully, there won't be as long as this. We kind of tried to cram, a lot, I think, a little bit too many stories into one video. Oh but, yeah. yeah, make sure to subscribe. Oh, sorry. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And oh, check out our other series on our channel. We have I'm Breaking the Roof. We have Willow Hollow. We have, um, I was about to say we have Sister vs. Sister. Rip Sister vs. Sister. Uh, diversity. And we also have Mad Mini Games. So, make sure you check those out if you haven't already. And subscribe if you are new. Like I said, like 10 million times, though. Please stop. We will see you guys all next time. Bye. Bye.